Welcome to Off The Wall, a video series about the hat life. Alex from your Gorham Brothers virtual styling team back here again. Today, I got a good one for you guys. I'm gonna teach y'all how to accessorize your hat with hat feathers. Got some here. I know it's a question a lot of you guys have. I'll show you how to do it. It's super simple, super fun. Each hat can be unique to the feathers that you get. Let's get right to it. Okay, so real simple one today. All we need is one tool. I would advise a pair of needle nose pliers will come in handy for some of these. Um, otherwise, you just need some feathers. So you can get feather bundles from us on Goran.com or in your hat shops. You can get a single feather, you can get multiple feathers. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you guys to start how to put in one single small feather into one of our hats. You can definitely put multiple feathers and I'll be showing you how to do that in a second. But let's just say you wanna put our smallest, most simple kind of feather. So these are our shortest feathers. We do three different sizes, generally speaking. I'm gonna show you how to do the smallest one. And I'm gonna be putting this feather into this brown kernel pierce. So two things you need to pay attention to when you're putting in feathers. First off, the stem of the feather. Feather. Hopefully you can see that. A little short guy, right? And then the question of where to put a feather inside the hat, it really is up to you. A good little spot that we've created at Gorham Brothers. Almost all of our hats here behind the logo have a little gap, or what I like to call it the pocket square, almost like the pocket square in a soup blazer. Same thing, we have a little gap behind that that it can kind of tuck inside. There are no rules, so I want to be clear, you definitely can put the feather wherever you feel is right for you, but I'm just going to show you how to tuck it in behind. It's a good starting principle for you. Okay, so if you're looking at the gap in your hat right here in the back of our logo and you're saying, Alex, that gap seems too tight or you can't get anything inside of there, that's where the needle noses are gonna come in handy. What I like to do if I have a little space here that isn't quite loose enough or quite big enough to slip that stem inside, is just take the needle nose and I'm not opening it up, I'm not gonna be pulling, I literally am mimicking the stem, so I'm pulling these tight and then I'm just kind of dipping it right in there, just like I would with my feather stem and just mimicking that and just creating space. I'm not pulling here, I'm literally just putting it right inside. I'm just creating a little bit of a pocket, opening up a little bit of space and boom, should be good. Let's check it out. Okay, so our moment of truth here, we're gonna try to get this feather inside of this hat band. With the feather, what you wanna do here is actually, I like to clean up the feathers there so I have some space. On the stem, we're literally grabbing it almost like a pen. So forefinger and thumb, almost like we're gonna write. And then I'm taking that and that space that I just created in this hat band here, I'm literally just very carefully dropping it in. Now I personally like to have my feathers slightly leaned back. That's just me, there are no rules here. A slight lean back is what I do, you do you. And it's in there, it's good. If you're worried about it sliding out or wondering if it's too loose, give it a quick test. That sucker is not going anywhere right now. Okay, so we've gotten the short feather inside. Now what happens if we want to get a longer feather? Well, this is an example of one of our longer ones that we can do. It's the exact same thing, it's the exact same process. In fact, in my opinion, the longer feathers are usually a little bit easier to get in because you get a thicker stem to grab and kind of dig into that space. The only thing you might run into is maybe a gap in the hat that's not as quite as big as you want and that's where you use that uh, needle nose plier trick. So here we go. I'm gonna to toss this guy right in there. Same principle, grabbing it forefinger and thumb, and boom. Now the question of how deep to go, here's the base of the stem. I like to push it all the way down to the bottom of the hat. And it's in. Here we go, I've just done another one. Same trick, look. Look how good that looks. This can be you. All right, so now we've put in one big feather. I've shown you one small feather separately. Now let's layer in multiple feathers. The first rule of thumb that you wanna start with is go with your longest feather, which is gonna be the back feather, whatever's gonna be in the back of the hat. 
that is gonna be your first feather. So we know that the longest one is probably gonna be the first one since it's got the most foliage. It's gonna set the most frame to the hat, right? So I put in that one, you just saw that. So now I'm gonna put in a slightly shorter feather, which is this guy, and then same thing. What I'm doing is I'm using that space. I'm just tucking it in, trying to find some room. All right. Now we got two in there. Now, you can see they're in there, nice and secure. You can feel them. You can actually see the stems there in the bottom poking out. That's totally fine. It's nice and secure. So now what I like to do is make an adjustment on the two. And just adjust the feathers. Kind of get them set. And then just make sure there's enough space for our last one. You ready? We're going to put in our last one. Here we go. We got two in there right now, and here comes this little short guy. Found a little space for him. Gonna tuck him low. And he's in. There's three feathers in there now. And now it's just kind of rearranging, almost like flowers in a, in a vase. You just wanna rearrange and get it looking pretty in the way that you want. It's gonna be different to every person, everybody's taste, and how you want it to look. This is a nice layered look we've gone from. Gone from a one long feather to now three feathers with some depth, some natural flow, some natural plumage. Again, I like mine slightly slant, slanted back, but you do you. Three feathers in that sucker now. All right, so taking out feathers, right? We put all these in. How the heck do we get them out? Very, very, very carefully is the answer. So the reverse order of when we put them in is how we're gonna take them out. So the shortest, the one on the front is gonna come out first, which is this one. I like to slip my finger right behind that foliage and just kind of gently tuck it away. You can pull it, you can see it coming right out there. There's one. Here's the second one. Do that finger trip. Just kind of try to find the back. Use your thumb and your forefinger, just gently. You don't want to tug, it'll pull the feathers apart. There it is, there's the stem, there's two, and this last guy. Easy peasy, just pull it right through. And there's three. If you're ever having trouble, you can use these guys, but again, if you're gonna use the needle nose pliers, go very, very gently. She's back to where she started. Okay, so I showed you how to put in feathers vertically from the top down. I'm also gonna show you an option you can have, which is to put them horizontally. What do I mean by that? Not only do we have a gap here, but in most of our hats, you'll have a gap behind the bow horizontally. And with my needle nose, I'm just gonna feel through, make sure there's space. You can see my needle nose pop popping right through. That's where we're gonna put our feather. So this is super easy. It's the most e much easier of the two ways, in my opinion. What you wanna do is just take that stem, Put it in either direction that you want. This is the front of the hat, so I'm going to take the bottom of the stem, have it pointing towards the front. I just want to gently guide that through, and then once you have, you just kind of snake it through just like that. And you get a nice little layered look in there. All of a sudden, you got a hat feather in there horizontally. From there, now we can add whatever we want up top. Boom! Two different feathers, two different directions. Have fun with it. All right, so now you see what to do with hat feathers. These are available on Goran.com with free pack bundles or at our local hat shops. If you have any questions, hit me up on Goran.com. From here, I'm gonna teach you how to do hat pins, but that's a video for another time. And until then, keep on living that hat life. Bye.